are you bringing out the big damn wrench? Sometimes it requires no. big big tools. No. This one does. No, son. I don't think it does. I don't no, think I'm, it requires I'm, that big of a tool. But don't worry. I'm being gentle. Dude, you're it. being a tool. Get off my hand. Come my love. Wolf Tip Nation. Whoa, whoa, I wasn't even ready. Wasn't Thank ready. you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tip Videos episode. I wasn't we are, ready. We're finally back Premature. in the shop. Premature. We are back in the shop. We're back man. in the shop. We've been all over the place. You guys have been watching all of our road trips. Excuse the scabs. That. I had some allergic reactions. My face was, I, I clawed myself. I woke up and I couldn't open my eyes. I was all swollen. We need to put some mittens. All right, guys. So on today's episode, we are glad you guys are here because we are bringing back Old Project DJ, the Mongoose Durham, our dirt jumper. Finally. Okay. The, the dirt jumper. Dirt Look, jumper. This is Wolf Take Videos. We know it's not a real dirt jumper. It's a dirt jumper. Hopefully it's not a fail video. We've got a this whole bunch This might of, be a fail. we got a whole bunch of parts from our boy, our patron, old Berserker. This. He sent us an awesome chain. We're going to be getting to this. A crank set. It's going to be the first time we're ever going to be installing, if it works out, we're going to be installing a single speed. First right? attempt. And with the help of some mail time over there. Yes, that is right. Everybody's favorite segment. We got a little bit of mail time too. I'm guessing there's going to be some parts yep. in there for our project Dirt Jumper. Right? We're fixing to get into that here in a little bit as well. Dirt so, Jumper. Every that. time you say Dirt Jumper, Dirt okay, jumper. jumper. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, you know you and, want uh, to. Wolf Tech Nation, let's get into trying to finish the dirt jumper. Let's let's do that. All right, guys, here we go. Project DJ. Now I know everybody hates the way I put the bike up on the bike stand, but yeah. look, well, I gotta put I, I it know on there. Jay, Jay, I can't home Jake. Justin definitely hates it. Bike chick hates it. I know. Well, it's like you know what? I gotta film on this thing, and it's so much easier to film. Nice catch. And you move about, that sucker you around. The bed on that one. It's so much easier to, to film Cockety comma. and rotate this head around while we're filming. You need to calm not, that not, down. Boy, Tighten up, don't you? think that bike will keep me from whooping your Tighten it. Tighten it. Tighten, Tighten it. it. Tighten it. Tighten it. Tighten. Tighten. All right, guys. <clears throat> this is what we are going to do. Now, there's a whole mess of stuff over here. The crank set, the bottom bracket housing, the shell, the chain ring. I'm completely lost, okay? It's so, like a three-piece crank action. Yeah, so we've come to a conclusion. We're going to go ahead and look at the rear single-speed portion of this thing and see if we can get this done up first to kind of see where the alignment needs to be on the front-bottom bracket. Because remember, it's going to be a single-speed, so all we have to worry about is just one gear, basically, right? Now, this here is the Cycling Deal Single-Speed Conversion Kit. Berserker Nick sent it. It's a 12-tooth uh, sprocket or cog on there. I thought there. we were doing 16. Now this is a 12 and the front is a 28 tooth, I believe. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Okay, now this is my worry. All right, I'm gonna get the little cog here and I wanna see if this fits on the free hub. All right, and it does. All right, so we are good there, it does fit. Now, we've got some spacers, we've got a lock ring, we've got some options to exactly see how we're gonna align this thing. Again, I'm thinking probably just right in the middle. Would you agree with that? Possibly. As I'm saying, you, since it's not if it's not hard to adjust it, get it eyeball it where you think it's going to go. Uh -huh. Let's get it going on there. Then you'll have an idea what the front needs to do. Then you'll know how much flexibility you have at the front, and you know the flexibility at the rear. Then you okay. can start getting it all dialed in. And again, this is the Bucklow's wheel set, 26 inch that they sent to us. You guys can check the affiliate links in the description below. You can get this thing for like $169, which is pretty budget. Considering it comes with a front and a rear, and it is both uh, front and rear is nine millimeter quick release. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bigger spacer that comes that on this. I'm gonna put one of these spacers on that next, just like so. Then I'm gonna put the cog on there, the 12 tooth cog, and I'm just gonna, I guess, center it up on this thing. I'm just hoping that all these will take up the slack. God, I wish we could do a little zoom call with Berserker. Lock ring is gonna go on there. Okay, so once I tighten that, it takes away all of the space on there. And that's a little bit more towards the inside than I think I would like, but we don't know in the chain alignment. You guys see that there? It's kind of centered, just a little bit more towards the uh, the hub. We can undo this. Let's stick it on there and then we'll start looking at the crank set alignment with the chain. 
All right, guys, so I'm looking at the alignment here. It's a little in, right? Single speed, that chain line is going to be probably kicked over another spacer. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kick this, that kick little cog it. back there. Kick it! I'm gonna have to kick that sucker over one more spacer. All right, let's get that done and then we'll look at putting that crank set all together. That's gonna be a job in itself. Is it? Yeah, that's a lot. Got the cog kicked over. Now the alignment looks so much better. I think it looks so much better. I don't know, we're fixing to find out. All right, so now we got that all fixed up. Let's go over here. Let's look at this crank set. Let's look at the chain ring. Let's look at this bottom bracket, the three. What are we not looking at? We're looking at it all. Let's do it. Okay, so this is what we got going on. All righty. Here is the Shadow 28 tooth chain ring. All right, now it comes with two different spacers. And what I have kind of come to conclusion with is this spacer here is the one that actually fits nice and snug around the uh, the shaft, if you will. Okay, this guy here is a little loose, so we don't want the loose one. Okay, we want the tighter, tighter the better. I'm not really sure what the hell I'm doing here. Well, what else is new? Let's see. We've got some different mounting hardware here. We're gonna go ahead and bolt this up. Okay, that's got Loctite on there. Now this is where I'm getting a little confused. You're probably laughing at me. I know Berserker, Captain's Cog. Multiple guys are, are giggling right now. I'm looking at this. And I'm like, what in the world is going on? Because I was fixing to put the other crank arm on here and kind of match it up. The issue is I have to flip this crank arm around. Because you guys see the angle? Yeah, that's not going to work, number one. Number two, since when does a chain ring sit on the outside of the crank arm? Let me flip this around real quick. I have no clue what I'm doing. That's how we want it to sit, like that. So that way that crank arm is going to be straight. It was completely bass backwards. That was a, that was a duh moment right there. All right, guys, so we've got the bearing put in the bottom bracket. Now we're going to go ahead and grease this shaft up. Now Thank there you. is, you're welcome, there is a little uh, shell. Okay, it's going to go in is here. Is that what you're calling it? Yeah, I'm calling it a little shell. But all I want to see is I want to mock this up. I want to see if it clears the chain stay. And also want to see what the chain alignment is going to look like. Because we've got no clue. I think this goes on there. Like so. Okay, and that little spacer that came with the chain ring actually goes on the outside, not the inside. So now it fits up nice and flush. All right, now let's look at the crank arm. All right, now we've got clearance on the crank arm with the chain stay. We're good there. Now I'm gonna add one of these spacers. I'm gonna add one of these spacers. Okay, on this side of the shaft, I'm gonna put the shell over it. It's just very confusing on what goes where, you know? Like I said, I'm sure I had the chain ring sitting out here. I'm sure you guys were laughing at me. It's like, holy crap. You know, it's it's always confusing the first time. Yeah. Okay, don't do this at home. Don't do this at home, guys. Yeah, and I'm hoping you don't ruin that frame. No, it just took for days to get the damn threads lined up, but we're good now. Let's put the other crank arm on there and hope that the chain alignment's right. The only thing is well, I can't get a hold of Berserker right now, so hopefully when he watches this, he can... Uh, you know. We ain't redoing it, Berserker. <laughs> well, we might have to. Hopefully don't have to, but make sure it's lined up. Yeah, that's good. Now we're finally getting this thing. You guys wouldn't believe the uh, the problems that we've had with it. Okay. Now I don't want to go crazy tight because this is pretty no, much... you the, know, you have a torque wrench. That's pretty much the compression. Three. We'll go about six newton meters on this guy here. All right, we've got set to six. Hey, Kenneth Harad... Thank you so much for the bike tool torque wrench. This thing is so handy, you know, especially whenever we whenever we go on a trip or something like that, I always take this guy. But all right, guys, we got the crank it's set nice on there. Yeah, it's nice and small, easy to pack with you. But we got the crank set on there. All right, now I don't know if it's right or not. Uh, we will find out here pretty soon, I guess, when I'm riding it. Hopefully, it doesn't just fall apart on me. But let's go ahead and take a look at the chain alignment now. And you guys are gonna trip out when you see this chain. It's an amazing chain. I hope I. Do the chain right. I had to read instructions. Rip out. All right, guys. Let's look at the shadow chain that Berserker sent us. Instructions. Why do you sound all weird? It comes that? with. That's not weird. Like, oh, because I'm I'm worried about this chain. No, I'm excited about. It. I'm just worried about it. So it comes with a pin, and I have not had good luck with pins oh, whatsoever. Yeah. That pin I just showed you guys, I believe, is an extra because you can see here, we actually have a pin that it, it comes with, and we'll be pressing this in there. Um, so let's, and this thing's also directional. It goes like that. Is that not a sweet chain or what? Sweet chain. That thing is awesome. Oh, it matches perfect with the red. Look at that. It's nice. That yeah, matches perfect. Good. Berserker, man. 
Wow, that is awesome. We're gonna mark this chain. All right, let's go ahead and pop that pin out of there and let's see if we can set this new one in. All right, guys, here we go. No going back on this one. All right, guys, here we go. Everything is connected now. Now, moment of truth. Let's see if we have enough tension on here. Because remember, like Wolfman was saying, the dropouts go up and down. Not like a BMX bike where they go forward and backwards. So we can actually put tension by pulling this rear wheel and then tightening it with the threaded axle. So let's see if we can pedal this. And hopefully the chain jumps on there and the tension's good. Do not want to scrape up that chain ring. Right now, unless the thing sucks. Yeah. Come on. Dude, that alignment looks good. Dude, that's that. You, you're not gonna be able to pedal up any kind of hills at all. No. But. That thing is sick. I've never seen a chain like that before. Yeah, it's got good tension on. I'm happy with that. All right, guys, what we got going on next, we are going to be installing the Berg Tech Cash Braun nylon flats that berserker nick sent to us and uh, you guys just might see these in the mail time <laughs> and maybe a saddle and some grips that uh that match but berserker thank you check out the mail time to see the grips mm -hmm. the saddle right? yes yes i mean there's some craziness but this thing is going to be awesome crazy i love to look at the chain berserker that is just so cool that mixed with the chain ring very cool so 28 tooth 12 tooth on the rear what do you guys think? How is it going to be? It's going to be fast. Like, you're going to pedal, it's going to be right. fast. You know, we're going to be taking this thing to the jump park in Hot Springs. And, I mean, having to pedal up that. <laughs> you ain't going to pedal up it. I don't know if I'm even pedal up it. You're walking it. Oh, I almost chin check myself. Yeah. Okay. I got your chin. Ow, here. the wrist. You and him both can be messed God, up wrists. Getting old, man. Jeez. You know, I was going to put a chain stay protector on here, but it's going to be impossible for that chain to hit that chain stay. Our chain guy. Possible. Chain stay. Wow. All right, guys. Well, that was the install of the crank set, the chain ring, the awesome red chain. Berserker! Nick, thank you so much for sending all of this stuff. The pedals, the Berg Tech pedals. We got part three coming out. That was part two. So, uh, guys, let's get ready for a little bit of everybody's favorite segment. What's the favorite segment? What's the favorite segment over there? Mail the time. mail time, baby. Let's mail do time. it. Everybody's favorite segment. Beep, beep, Come on. Beep. Some of these parts you may or may have not seen us just use. I don't want to get cut tonight. Right, let's bring this one. Alright. Catch you pine. Let's do this. Hey, if you guys forgot to, hit that like button. Don't, don't start with the Can mic. I open this one? I, go ahead. I think, we've, I think they've done seen this one. Have they done seen it? This oh, yeah, here is from it. our boy, Berserker Nick. I have a feeling we're going to be saying his name a lot. Pull it out. Oh! Oh, God! Damn. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go with the dirt Whoa. jumper bar. With it. This is a Bucklos BRL 50. All righty. We've got a 10 degree back swing. Five say, degree rise or 50 millimeter rise. Hang on. I thought you were about to say it's a Bucklos Biatch. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, very good looking bar. 780. Now, yeah. that to me looks like a DJ bar, dirt jumper bar. Does All it? Right? Is that Berserker, look official? Man, um, this and everything else that you're, you've sent that you guys have saw. Thank you, brother. This here is also from Berserker Nick. What the hell is this? This is a single bolt no, no. design, fits, fits all pivotal style seats. And guys, he sent us a, uh, I think a message on Patreon and said, oh, I can't wait for you to see the seat post tube for the dirt jumper. Dude. He's like, uh, it's gonna be very fun watching you install yes. that. That I've oh, never really? seen anything oh. like that. That looks like a tool you use in the kitchen. <laughs> Damn, you gonna muddle? Is that like a muddle? Yeah. Muddle it. You gonna muddle some Make stuff? a mojito. All right, next piece of mail. Oh, look at our boy Chuck Yu. Oh, it's old Chuck, Chuck you, baby. You. Chuck you, baby. Hey, another one of our patrons. Notage. In addition to the Wolf Tick movie collection from old Chuck you, baby. Okay, so that's that one. Now, it's multiple notes. Oh, okay. Thought you could use a saddle for Chong from Chuck Yu. Oh, you. for Chong. Oh, very excited. Oh, now, Chuck Yu, yes. guys, uh, patron, he knows of our Patreon build. It's Project Chong. Yes. So, first thing you want to do, let's pull this saddle out for the patron build. Okay. Oh, what have we got here? Much. Whitcop Medicine Air Seat. Oh. How's it feel? Dude, that thing is Dude, a Dude, it trick. feels like a Stretch Armstrong. Wait, wait. Do you Look know at what that, that is? guys. No, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Look at that. That is a sweet looking saddle, Chuck You, and that's going to go with the colors on old Chong, Chuck too. Chuck baby. Memory foam? Hell yeah. 
It's even got some fl airflow. I wonder if old big sister Brenda would like that. All right. And this is for you. You ready? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, All right. I'm, come on. Am I ever All right, guys. not ready? A little DVD action. No way. I already know what it is Look from the at back. Look at that. Here. No way. What is it? No way. Dude, I, I knew it right from the back. It's unmistakable. Are you a fan of that? Yeah. Are you serious? He loves come Pink on, Floyd. now. Chuck, you? Chuck well, you guys you. were talking about music on the meetup. Chuck, you. Man, thank you. Dude, I, what's just funny is I don't own this. Chuck, you. Thank you, Chuck, baby. you, man. You're the man. Thank you, Chuck, you. See this one's got my name on it. Oh. Whoa. Hang on. Who's this from? Is this... Was this truly a drunken... I don't... This must be sent by okay, someone. Okay, it says Jeremiah Cullum, Wolf Tick Videos. Yeah. I don't know who this who must be an this? eBay buy. I don't this know... This is not a drunken eBay, I don't think. I wonder if this is Dude, for Project Chong. Victoria's. Because I've been talking about how much I've liked Victoria's, and, and I want the 2.6s. They know you, the 2.6s. This has got to be for the patron build. And if it's not, this is going to be for the patron build. It's got to be. Let us know who sent that, and look at the tread on that puppy. Oh, man. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Let's see what this is. All right, this is from Berserker. Vic. Oh, my God. Well, gosh, please. Dude, when it comes to dirt jumper bikes or BMX bikes, Berserker's the man. And this is the saddle that's going to be going on the oh, dirt jumper. Dude. What? Dude. Look at that seat, this guys. This bike is going to be ridiculous. Holy crap, and you guys have seen Excuse this. Excuse me, that was dirt jumper, by the way. Yeah. Whoa. Dude, that is ridiculous. Oh, that is awesome. I think we're going to set a record on dudes on this one. Damn. All right, man. We are some, we're, you know, we've, we've got such we're, a good we're, community, We are man. blessed. We're lucky. We're fortunate. We're, you know, all of that. Yeah. Next yes. piece of mail. What do we got? Let's do it. Let's got see. Acid. This was drunken eBay, and this was a good drunken eBay. You know why? Uh, well, is there a bad drunken eBay? There's not, no. There's no such thing as a bad drunken eBay. See how close it comes But guys, nice? these yeah. here, our patrons, you guys will be excited about this. This here is going on our Patreon build. I ordered these. I wasn't drunk. I may have been in the company of a drunk person, though. <laughs> these are Berg Tech grips. I got these for like $25, and check out the colors there. The patrons are going to be freaking out because that is going to be perfect with the frame. Berserker! Nick! With another one. Another one. Damn, Berserker. Now, from a long time ago, is that going to go with the saddle or what? Berserker Nick was talking about you need to get the van grips if you ever do a different type of build. He kept talking about it. He's got the flange on there. Dude. Those things are sweet looking. Berserker, thank you. Vans Colt grips, guys. This is from it's our boy, Connor W. Connor, Connor w? w. He sent an email and said, hey, I thought this would really get a kick. This, this, you'll get a kick out of this. Would you stop? You'll get a stop. kick out of this. I'm about to kick you. Connor W. sent some pictures of his bikes for viewers' rides. And uh, who knows, Connor? Your, uh, your ride just might make the cut, depending on what this is. Yeah, course. let's just keep the cut on the video, not on me. Notage. notage. We got notage. some notage. Handwritten notage. Handwritten. All right, Fancy. let's see. Hey guys, love the videos. My wife and Thank I you. watch them all. Really? Wow. I sent our bikes into hey, the viewer's hey, submissions. Think you watched the bike wash video? You know we did. <laughs> no he sent his uh, viewer's submissions, and a few weeks ago, we have the aluminum comp and the Ardor. Damn. All right. The shirts were inspired by Jeremiah's ride. It's like you said. It's like you stole it shirt. Oh, okay. Oh, well, the two perfect. is a twenty-seven five, and the tool is a Park Tools. Free will removal tool. All right, Connor W. Well, first of all, guys, we got a little 27.5 tube action. Uh, you know, we got a lot of damn flats. Oh, well, this... but don't get as much anymore with the flat out from all you bike builders. Ah, that's true. Uh, man, that, stuff is, that. that stuff is legit. Look at that. Dude, that is a nice tool. That feels Dude, quality, man. I just have to say real quick, not to take away from Connor's time right now, but e-bike builder with the flat out. Yeah, that stuff it. has been amazing so far. All right. He says it's similar to it's Ride nice It Like quality. You Stole It shirt. I love this shirt. Oh, it's okay. part of tools in order. Wolf Tick Nation. All right, number one. All right. Now the back says, Ride It Like You Bought It at Walmart. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. Dude, that is an awesome <laughs> shirt, great. man. Hell yeah, is this medium? All right, it's a medium, perfect. All right. That is awesome. Connor W., thank you so much. And there's yeah. one for you in there too. No, well, let's see. Ride it like you bought it at Walmart. That right is there it is- huge? Man, that sucks that I didn't come up with that, Connor. Dude, it is, XXL. Hell right. yeah. It looks long enough too. Yeah, I, yeah. I hope if it don't get dried, I that is dry my awesome, shirts. dude. Dude, that is great. Heck yeah, yes, Connor W. You. We definitely got a kick out of this. Dude, uh, your we'll ride, be matching. your ride, and your wife's ride will be definitely on next year's ride. <laughs>
Oh, they, they got him right at the they top got, of the that's list. That's at the top of the list. Connor W., <laughs> he, he thank you. He can be bought off easily. Thank you, you and the wife. And yes, the other thing is I love that What's the stylish wife's shirt, Just the wife? It's the wife. It's Connor's wife. Yeah, Connor's wife. You know. Right. I didn't they, like you bought it at Walmart. I think it's, I think it's like Susie. Now, guess, guess who this Whoa, one's from. Man, would you start with the knife? Guess who it's from. Uh, I'm going to guess Berserker. Berserker! Nick. For their jerk jumper. The grips that we got for no. Project Chung are Berg Tech as well. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of that's kind of funny. Yeah. All right, so we got your hilarious. Guys. You ready? Do they even see it oh, first? Oh, bud. I can't see it yet. Oh, man. Those are so cool. Man, I can't, we got to hurry up and get on his Dude, build. Berserker and the color coordinating. Oh, man. That it's, is cool. It's smooth. It's light. Damn, that is it, neat, it's man. Those, those are one of those that, that when they break in, you can tell. Look how smooth it oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Berg Tech. Those are sweet, Berserker. Thank you, man. Yeah. Wow. Nice. You have uh, outdone oh, I yourself, can't wait Berserker. For it, You're gonna tear some shin up on that. It's been great. Some shin. Damn, Berserker. Well, thank you so much right. for that mail. Okay, that's that mail. Now we got two more boxes. This here Shh. is from Secret. old Big Brother Kevin H and Big Sister Brande. Right. right. And they, they said were also out here for they the said game. this is for their patrons, yeah. both of them. They said this right here is for the Wolfman and his e-bike. Oh. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I like the rise on that. Dude, that's a spank bar. Oh, I'm going to spank you with it. Please don't. Dude, that is sweet. Dude, yep. this, is, is this is the 40 millimeter? Yep. 40 millimeter Hell rise. Yeah. 785. Dude, that feels... A it, 785? Like, oh, oh, That's going to oh, be nice on your e-bikes. Yes. Yeah, you I guys nailed it. I just hope I don't it. get any air again. That you was guys, a little scary. You guys nailed it, man. They were getting so much laughs out of you on your e-bike out there. Well, so. well it, me on anything is a little funny. That's a me. sweet freaking bar, man. Yeah. I better hope I don't steal that from someone. Oh, there will be no steal. I, I, Damn. You'll have to remove it from... Big sister Brande and the old big brother Kevin H. Thank you yes, guys for uh, hooking you. Wolfman up with a bar for the e-bike. Thank you. Yes. That's cool, man. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that riding we all did. That was great. Them and Chuck U and mm -hmm. Bike Chick and What Which other patrons would have been there, man? Uh, excuse me. The real bike dude. The real bike dude, Justin. Yeah. We got one Thank more you. piece of mail, all Wolf right. Tech Nation. All right. This is from Chuck U. Oh, for Chuck a U. More... That's from who? Chuck U, baby. Right. For a more quiet inflation. Dude. 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 He was going. Yeah. <laughs> he was squeak. I was squeaking. He was squeaking. It was, it's a. There was a lot of squeaking. Hang a, on. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. All right. A Sal Royal inflation pump Volturno pump. Wow. Inflation pump Volturno. Oh, that's smooth, baby. Damn, Chuck, you. That is so cool, and we've got a little he, bleeder valve up on he's top. He's gonna have to come back and and do a a redo on pumping up stuff in the background. Yeah. That was great. I said, okay, Chuck, you go ahead and stop real quick. Wow, this great. thing looks fancy as all get out. Uh, wow. Very cool. Chuck, you. Yes, thank you so much. Everybody great. else that sends some mail, thank you guys yes, so much man, for the everybody. support. And you that, that have bought awesome. us coffees recently, thank you. That has helped us a ton. Heck yeah. We just took a little trip down to Texas, and those coffees have helped a, a lot, you know, because, boy, that cost, a, that trip, right now doing anything costs a fortune. Everyone knows that. But thank you for that. All right, yep. guys. Thank well, you. that was the mail time. That was the DJ build. Was it a fail or not? I don't know, because we were filming this yet. beforehand. Yeah. All right, guys. So Wolf, the DeLorean. Wolf Tick Nation. Connor, thank oh. you so much for those shirts. I can't wait to uh, rock yes. one of those out, man. That is, that's That's us all day. But, uh, yeah. guys, please like, please subscribe. All the coffee supporters, thank you guys so much. If thank you're not you. a coffee supporter, you're not a patron, guys, please check out the affiliate links. Um, don't, the, feel all the the, don't feel ugly to be a patron. It's not for everybody. It's, it's you know, there's a lot of nonsense on there. There's some there's some good stuff on there, some build stuff, and there's a lot of nonsense because that's what we are. We're, we're full of a lot of nonsense. Wow. So, But if you want the extra nonsense behind the scenes, you can handle the language because it's not edited. Check it out. Check it out. $10 All right, more. guys. Damn, that was hell of a mail time. Yes, thank you. All right, guys, we are out of here. We will see you guys on the next one. Yes. Head and get cut.